the reason for the complement to be reduced is that as the complexes are formed these complexes would associate with the complement, complement fixation and activation will occur and that would actually reduce the complement levels in the body. So hypo complementinemia occurs in type 3 reactions. So glomerulonephritis is one type of the issue that can occur then rheumatoid arthritis is another type, SLE is another type then um, polyarthritis, polyarthritis nodosa, nodosa is another type then the allergic allergic or hypersensitivity 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 allergic lung diseases is another type right so in here the drugs we need to also understand what kind of drugs so i will just put that out here um, penicillin are very common then antithymocytes, antithymocyte and antithymocytes are given normally for the immunosuppression antithymocytes. So these drugs the, that drug actually goes and kills the thymus cells. So we are trying to reduce the thymus cellular function so that we can cause immunosuppression. So when that is given normally this antibody this uh, drug is made in the horses. So of course there is an antigenic uh, you know preponderance there. So when this drug is taken that can cause the uh, antigen antibody complexes to be formed as well. So penicillin causes is antithymocytes cause it then um, sulfamethoxazoles um, and other such drugs uh, of course diphtheria tetanus diphtheria tetanus trimethoprim trimethoprim so trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole diphtherias uh, vaccine tetanus vaccine penicillins for example ampicillin administration uh, antithymocytes these are the drugs that can cause antigen antibody complexes and cause a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction now just by the way this is an uh, usmle concept here tetanus duration for the repeat injection is 5 years so if the tetanus injection is given before 5 years that can cause an arthritis reaction because the antibodies are already present from the previous dose now when the new dose is given localized immune complexes will be formed and the soreness would occur. So back here in the pathology space glomerulonephritis, glomerulonephritis related to type 3 are of following types we have IgA glomerulonephropathies or IgA nephritis in this one what happens is this is world's most common uh, glomerulonephritis because of the autoimmune diseases worldwide the most common the cause is unknown the symptoms in this particular case can range from no symptoms asymptomatic to a full blown renal failure. Uh, so that is one type IgA so what, what happens is that IgA uh, complexes are formed on onto the renal uh, basement membranes so that is IgA nephropathy then there is bacterial uh, reasons so there is the post streptococcal post streptococcal streptococcal glomerulonephritis and normally what happens is that somebody uh, nephritic uh, sera of the streptococcus that somebody was infected with that maybe the skin infection or maybe the sore throat and a couple of weeks later there is glomerulonephritis. So what happened was the antigens from the bacteria and the antibodies which body produced those complexes went and settled on the uh, glomerular membranes in the rene, in the kidney and they these got complement fixation there and caused the local damage. So post streptococcal glomerulonephritis it is a very common uh, USMLA question actually uh, then uh, bacterial infective infective endocarditis and this is interesting that in case of infective endocarditis there is special